Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I'm gonna give you a mini house tour on what I've got done so far and what I've got left to do. So a lot of you um, follow on Facebook and, uh, and have been watching the videos, but some of you pop in and out. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of an update. But so the painting in the main part of the house is done. Um, and somebody asked me again what color the main walls are in here, and that is Transitional Tan by Velspar. Um, and it's a taupey green. It's very pretty. It's actually the, my most favorite paint I've ever painted in my house. So, so the kitchen is pretty well put together. Um, I've got lots of uh, space. I, I mean, I've got tons of storage all the way up uh, above the refrigerator, tons of storage. Um, I, I actually still have plenty of room for more stuff. So not that I want more stuff, but lots of drawer space. And, um, the Island is full of big, deep drawers too, as well as over there and all that space there. And that's mainly prep stuff. But, um, I, uh, my daughter and I put these up these uh, bars with the hooks on them from Ikea. And I absolutely love the way it looks. The one that's over there by my stove, I use this all the time. My measuring spoons are there, my measuring cups, various types, and I love the new ones, thank you. And um, all my tasting spoons, I got these at Ikea too. They're just little tiny tasting spoons. Then I, when I'm cooking on the stove, if I need to taste something, I can just grab a spoon right there. So anyways, that's the kitchen. Oh, I see Shotzi's naked. She, I took her collars off last night. I'm gonna put them back on. Um, so I'm still kind of organizing the hutch. Uh, it's, it's a work in progress. I've got jars that I need to bring in from the garage. I'm gonna start working on that this afternoon. I did get the rest of my chairs all put together yesterday. Uh, so we're waiting on my dining room table. Um, it comes in at the end of the month and I can go pick it up. Yay. So, uh, okay. So we have the hutch. I may, I may, we'll see. I might buy the buffet server that goes with the dining room set. Um, I'm probably going to go to Portland this weekend or this week and yeah, probably during the week and look at it. It's small enough that it would fit right there. And because I have the big buffet that I redid over there for storage, I don't really need a ton of storage and I don't want something that big behind this uh, love seat. So all of the, in fact, let me just turn the camera around and I'll give you a little mini tour of the main part of the house and uh, let you know what I've done. Okay, and I want to put this out there. If anyone knows where I can purchase another one of those bar stools, I need three here on this island and I can't find them anywhere. So <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. You never know. Okay, um, so there's an overview of the kitchen and I finished this table yesterday. I, I refinished those pine, orangey pine tables. Um, they've got storage in them as well and I've got a lamp set up. I got the coffee table done, that buffet done, and there's videos on all this um, if you haven't seen them. I, I do have a TV and I, I've got an antenna and a Blu-ray player so I can watch something. I'm not a big TV watcher, so. Uh, I need a small end table right there, and I have one, but I've got to find the top to it. The fireplace, the wood stove. Oh my gosh, I love that thing. It basically cooked me out of here last night. I had to open the door, but it's very efficient. Keeps this main area absolutely wonderful. So I went ahead, these two pictures, these are prints, and these mean a lot to me because I bought them from, um, one of my old bosses and he is a photographer as well as a hairstylist. He took these pictures. This was from the Reno rodeo roundup one year. And it's a picture of a couple horses and they're eating their dinner, um, on the trail and they drive cattle all the way into Reno from California. So I painted the frames. Oh, and this, this is a fence with old bottles that have aged in the sun 
and that bottle fence is in Tuscarora, Nevada. So it, those two pictures mean a lot. Um, I painted them, I chalk painted and distressed them the same color as the buffet that is now my TV console. So I've got this sofa table here behind. So when you come in through the entry, you see that um, sofa table. And I've got a basket with some uh, throw quilt down there. So if somebody gets cold, I've got a blanket handy. And then, oh, the big reveal of my entryway. Oh, look it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have to tell a little bit of a story. This piece of wood I had, and it was blank. I had it and um, I've had it for years and never, I wanted to do something with it because you, you can see it still has bark on it. It's just a beautiful piece of wood. And uh, Whitney's friend who is just a sweetheart, she does what's called um, pyro, pyro, graphics or pyro anyways she burns artwork onto wood so she does pictures she does landscape scenes animals and I asked her to make a welcome sign for me to put in my entry so it's done and she did a beautiful job freehand so thank you Becky so much and if she wants um if it's okay with her, I'll put her Facebook page that uh, shows a lot of her artwork down below. Anyways, that really meant a lot. So I've got my little, you know, um, gallery wall. Um, this mirror is a mirror that was at the other house, but it also was a uh, upcycle. I got it at a garage sale for $10 and that mirror was ugly. It was uh, gold. I mean, shiny gold, icky, but it's a heavy, it probably weighs 20 pounds, 25 pounds, a heavy beveled mirror. So I chalk painted it black and there you go. There's my shelf from Ikea and uh, my coat rack. And so I've got pictures that have to go on the other wall, but there's my entry bench. And this was one of my vintage finds. That bench was $30. So I'm just trying to show you that you can you can decorate on a budget. Um, the baskets came from Marshall's. I've got Shotzi's basket is there with her, with lint rollers, her jackets, her um, hot spot spray, <laughs> anything she needs. I've got my gloves and scarves in that. Um, I'm gonna, I thought these would be for shoes, but I think I'm gonna put additional scarves and hats and stuff in there. Um, because everybody wants to put their shoes right there. So today's project is to buy a basket that I like for the, for right there. <clears throat> and there's that vase I bought at the vintage warehouse. Um, that was, oh, I, I bought that when I made the offer on the house. I said, go buy the vase. I think it's my good luck charm and I'll hopefully get my house. <laughs> so the bathrooms and uh, I started prep work on getting them. I'm gonna do pictures, family pictures here, but that's that's what you look at when you when you come in, and you can grab a blanket out of that uh, metal bucket and go hang out on the couch and watch a movie if you want. So. Guys, this is what I've got done so far. I've got to still paint two bathrooms. So as I said, I've got to paint two bathrooms and two bedrooms still. But because I took towel bars off in the bathrooms and I'm gonna be putting new stuff up, some of which I'm gonna upcycle from the old house, um, some of which I may totally change things out. I really would like to change the faucets in the bathrooms and here in the kitchen, um, but that's gonna be a different project. So. I'll get the bathrooms prepped. I've got to do the um, the texture spray. I haven't quite got the technique down yet. <laughs> I gotta practice. <laughs> and um, anyhow, I will uh, get that done. And as soon as I get that done and the bedrooms are done and put together, then I'll bring you along for a full house tour. Um, but it has been so much fun to do this and put it together and know that it's all mine. It's my taste, my choices, and I, I've had help. I'm not going to say I haven't. I've had a lot of help, and I appreciate 
everybody that's helped so so very much and um, like getting my ceiling fan up and and helping me you know getting my chimney swept and and uh my curtains up and that's um my curtain rod we took the vertical blinds down i hate vertical blinds anyways took those down and and uh, so and shotzi loves her spot right there in front of the fire i don't leave that bed in front of the fireplace though if i'm leaving and there's and it's there's a fire in there um just so she doesn't kick kick it when she gets up or something to uh get it too close but we have some beautiful weather. The fall weather is finally here and um, it's time to start cooking some fall dishes. But I think next on the menu is gonna be a pro grill and you may have already seen the video, a pizza in the pro grill for just me using Thrive and keeping it low carb. So um, if I haven't posted that and you wanna see it, Yes, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you get notified whenever I upload. You just hit that little bell and it'll notify you. And um, yeah, okay guys, we got lots of cooking, lots of canning coming up and freezer banking. I'm getting lots of requests for freezer banking. And today I did um, burrito filling. I'm gonna make uh, freezer bank burritos, but I did the filling in the stack cooker and oh, how easy was that? The meat, the beans, and the rice all in the same pot, all at once. All right, we'll see you next time. Go check the links below. I've got my Thrive link. I've got, um, if you're interested in any of the Tupperware that I use, that link's down below as well. All right, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Bye.